Let me get your overall reaction to what's happening in the markets today and what Steve and Rick and uh, Dom Chu have said at the top of the broadcast. Damaging effects of a tightening Fed, which is leading to continued PE compression. And with the two year at four, you know, north of 4%, that's a very attractive alternative to stocks and stock yields. And, and that's going to that's gonna continue to compress uh, the stock market, at least for a while, until we get some relief uh, uh, in interest rates whenever that comes. Go, you, you say that the time for investing in so-called defensive stocks, that would be consumer staples, maybe health care, uh, and most notably energy, that the time for those kinds of plays is past. Why do you say that? Well, the time to buy defensive is before you have a bear market, not when you're down 22 percent on a bear market. And I think down 22 percent really masks the damage that we have seen in stocks because the top 10 stocks are only down 11 percent. That means the other 490, there's just so many good quality companies out there that are down 30, 40, 50 percent that have a little bit more cyclicality to their business than defenses. I think I don't I, I'm not I'm not talking about the next 12 days, but over the next 12 months, I think it's highly likely if you find good quality companies that are down that magnitude that you'll make, you know, you'll have a good return over the next 12 months, given the, the damage they've already experienced. So the damage they've already experienced. I want to linger. I want to come back to um, energy in just a minute. But but what you're arguing for here, here, it seems to me, are quality companies that have a cyclical component to them so that uh, as the economy may turn eventually, they will lead the way out. And three of those companies are uh, RH, the former Restoration Hardware, uh, Home Depot, and SVB uh, Financial, which is a, a Silicon Valley bank. Why those three? What's, what are the standout qualities that unite them? Sure. So, you know, I've been in this business a long time, and I've always made my, the most money, uh, you know, really buying fear and selling greed. And fear... And also finding companies that have been market leaders that have generated excellent returns over time, but they have fallen out of favor temporarily. Their valuations have come down to very low levels, uh, maybe even cut guidance so that expectations are lower. And then they, assessing whether their problems are structural or cyclical. And I think... If in fact, if in fact, at some point next year, the Fed begins to ease up on what they're doing, <clears throat> these stocks are down so much and their PEs are so low that they have a chance for actually PE expansion. And I think, you know, I think the risk next year is that earnings guidance could for the market overall could be too high and that will come down. But PEs for many stocks have a chance to lift, not for the S&P overall, but for many stocks it could lift if the Fed takes their foot off the brake because they're trading barely above single digits. Let's let's get, have a final word on energy. You said you like to buy fear and sell greed. I guess you would put uh, put energy in the category of greed. Those stocks as a group are up about 50 percent this year. Uh, not so not doing so well lately. Uh, we've had oil going down, down, down. Um, so sell energy. Yeah. So don't forget the energy futures curve went negative a year and a half ago. There was a glut of, of oil. Everyone, you know, these stocks were doomed and the yields were very high. Now they've done the best. And Tyler, you know as well as I do, it ain't where it's been, it's where it's going. And it seems to me the Fed is either going to do two things. One, they're going to engineer a slowdown or they're going to engineer a recession. And either of those outcomes is not very good for energy prices. And that's it's the best performing group. So I think you're in the late innings of owning the stocks and I'd rather go into something that's down a lot that offers a lot of upside than hope to God I'm not too late into a group that's done very very well.